Mike, you had that uh, really key clutch sequence late in the fourth quarter where you were able to get the ball away from Jaw and then come down and drill a three on the other end. You know, what were you seeing in those plays? And, and just in your mind, how huge were those to kind of swing the momentum for in your guys' direction for good? Well, obviously, um, you know, I think there were, uh, you know, a good stretch of plays where, um, you know, throughout the game, you know, Jaw's been kind of having his way getting in the paint. And um, I knew at some point, I, you know, I get switched on to him or I have to, you know, guard him in that same area. And I was able to kind of get in front and, and cut him off and um, make him pick up the ball. And I've always had quick hands and, you know, you know, an eye for when to go for the ball and when not to. And uh, I was able to get my hand on the ball and go out of the way with it. And, um, you know, the threes that, that transpired or the one that happened before that and the one after, uh, you know, just were, uh, timely, just, you know, filling the game out. I knew, you know, Don had done a lot during the game and, you know, was wearing down a little bit. So I gave him a couple of possessions, couple of possessions off. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been in that position plenty where um, I feel real comfortable with the ball in my hand later in the game and, and uh, was able to just knock down a couple of good ones. Sarah Todd, Deseret News. Mike, you've seen a lot of playoff basketball in your days, and you know what it's like when a team maybe has to rely heavily on like its top two guys or its top guy. How much of a luxury is it for you to have someone like Jordan Clarkson who can come in in the third quarter and make a big difference, or Derek Favors to come off the bench, or Royce O'Neal getting rebounds? Uh, man, that's that's why we're so you know so deep and um, talented just across the board with. We have so many guys we trust, so many guys that we have faith in down the stretch and different points in the game. Like you said, Derek Favors has some great moments. Obviously, JC does what he does. And, you know, tonight was a, a you know, a really a good bounce, bounce back performance for him. You know, something that he's been, you know, kind of waiting on to, to kind of explode and then really go out, you know, have a good night like this. And, um, and you know, not all of us can have that kind of night every night. So, you know, for me, it was a little bit more subdued and I was more, you know, facilitator for most of the most part of the game. And, um, and we're okay with that. Like, that's what, why, you know, why we're, you know, who we are and where we're at is because we're, we're just on a selfish team and there's no egos and um, we just play basketball. Sam Farnsworth, KSL TV. Hey, Mike, Memphis has been kind of a team of runs throughout this series. They've been able to, you know, erase your guys' large leads, but What's been the key in holding those off and, and specifically tonight, just being able to like flip the switch and, and expand your lead again so quickly? Well, I think, you know, in those stretches where they're making runs, you know, they're a very emotional team. Um, they, they, you know, get very high in those moments. And um, for us, it's kind of just trying to stay steady through it, through it all, trying to stay steady, trying to understand that execution and, and discipline down the stretch is what we need most. And uh, when we're able to do both of those things on both ends of the floor, I think it allows us to put stretches together where we, we you know, stop a, a, a 9-0 run and, and put our own 14-0 run together, um, allow us, you know, allowing us to get a little bit of breathing room to, to win these games down the stretch. Nicole, it's Hab Deportes. Hi, Mike. Congress for the win. For you, you. you're welcome. For you, how much the how much important is the unsurfaced cultures has been the key to improve through the season and the playoff? Uh, could you repeat it one more time? I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. For you, how much the unsurfaced culture has been the key to improve through the season and playoff? Well, I think you know just just being around this team, um, you know. It's, it's taken us a little bit to kind of um, can completely understand each other throughout the year, um, completely get better and just get our chemistry to a point to where we can feel so comfortable out there together and, um, and improve each day. And, and you know, you have a, a, you know, Coach Quinn and uh, on down, just, you know, guys who really have 100% you know, accountability on everybody. Uh, allows us all to, to, to come into work every day and just try to be one percent better, and um, and that's what's so fun about it. You know, we never we never really get the last foot off the gas pedal, and uh, and it's allowed us to just be the team that we are, and hopefully, just continue to get better. Tony Jones, the Athletic. 
Mike, you played against um, a lot of those great Spurs teams. And, you know, one of their attributes is that, you know, no matter what was going on behind around them in terms of a game, in terms of a team making a run, it kind of stayed steady. Do you see some of those attributes in the way uh, you guys go about your business or is that is that off base? Uh, no, I do. I do see similarities. Um, obviously, they they had uh, some some Hall of Fame players over there that, that we all know, and a Hall of Fame coach, and a bunch of guys that to kind of go through that team. But um, they, uh, you know, plenty of them you know, being a part of the Grizzlies. It seemed like every time we'd make a big play or go up one or two, they would run some backdoor play, get a layup, and then foul you. Put you on the line, you miss a free throw, they come out and hit a three. And win the game, and and they just their execution and their ability to stay poised um, through loud environments, hostile environments, and um, never let the moment be too big for them. It just you know, it showed every single time, almost you know, every single close game, and that's what made them you know who they were. And I think we're we're starting to to find that a little bit. You know, during the season, the regular season, we didn't have many close games, honestly, where we you know had to kind of feel our way through these and learn um, and learn through it. So I think this, you know, the last four games have been really, really good for us to have uh, games where we've lost and games where we've won off of certain, you know, possession basketball and how we foul and when to, you know, look at the time and score and, you know, two for ones, all those things have come into play for us in the last you know, four games. And um, it's really, you know, hopefully allowing us to learn a little bit more. Ben Anderson, KSLsports.com. Looking at the box score, you see John Morantz having to play like 43 minutes a game most nights. Nobody on your team's over 35. What, what does that feel like over a course of a five and six game series? Well, you know, John's an unbelievable athlete. So I would, if it was me, I'd be tired, you know, but he's, he's he might be different. Um, but it is, uh, it is definitely, it's, it's tough. It's, it's tough physically, but even more so mentally, just, Knowing the, the pressure of each possession and you know, you know the gravity of each situation you're out there, it's it's, uh, it's a lot to carry. But uh, you know, for us, like I said, we have a team that that we rely heavily on. You know, eight nine guys and um, and you know, guys can split those minutes up. And some games it, it gets staggered a little bit differently. But um, we're happy with where we're at, uh, and we're just going to continue to try to do what we do regardless of uh, you know who's playing, who's not. David James, KTV. Mike, because you were up 3-1 a year ago in the bubble and it didn't work out, even though it's different with bogey back and home court and all that, because it's 3-1 again, will there be more attention to detail and focus? Because that, that still stings a little bit. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, we, we obviously remember that, um, that feeling that we had last season. And uh, it's not something we want to experience again. I think this team is different. I think the circumstances are a little bit different. Um, I think a lot of guys are, like you said, Boyan's back. I think, you know, it's another year for me to be kind of comfortable in the situation I'm in and JC and Fave. I mean, we just got to, I think we got a different team, different mindset. Um, and I think we'll, you know, hopefully be able to, 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 you know, get our minds focused on business and, uh, and not let this one uh, slip away like we did last year. We have time for one more. Dana Green, ABC4. Hey, Mike. Uh, Jordan was staying engaged uh, those first three games despite not shooting the ball well. He shot it well tonight. How, how much tougher does that make you guys to beat when he's when he's on? Just another weapon to have, but especially to have him uh, coming off the bench hitting, what, four or nine from three? Well, yeah. You know, we know how Jordan plays. We know how important he is for us, um, what he brings to the table. And, and not a lot of teams have a guy that, that can go out there and legitimately get you 40 points in, in 30 minutes or however many minutes he plays. So, um, you know, we expect him, you know, to win us. He's going to win us some games uh, in, in, in the playoffs. And we, and we know and have trust in everything he does. And uh, that'll give, you know, Don and myself and Boyan you know, some nights where we can almost you know, rest a little bit where, you know, not have to do as much work where he's kind of taking over. So having that is a luxury for all of us. And uh, I'm glad that he was able to find himself and get a, a, good night, a good night out of it. All right. That's it. Thanks so much, Mike. All right. Thank you. Have a good one.